who's this kid that thinks he's going to train me? Much more critical sometimes, which is good. I like it. He knows exactly what he's doing and how to push you further. He's adapting himself to a new context, that's for sure. This guy is really good at what he does. He's really excellent. He definitely has a gift and, and he's a very good leader as well. Pritam, uh, velocity, gentillesse and force. <laughs> We actually moved to Kakara in 2000 for education. My parents moved from Bihar. I was started my schooling in Calcutta and uh, met Jungle Cruise from one of our senior boys. Uh, his name is Sudhu and he took me to the club. So when I started going to play rugby in the field, I was not practicing but I was just watching how the people play and all. वो छोटा था उस टाइम से जब जब भी खेलने जाने लगा तो हम तो बहुत गुस्साते थे चोट लग जाएगा कुछ हो जाएगा आई यूज्ड टू सी दैट और यूज्ड टू हियर दैट लुक योर ब्रदर इज फाइटिंग देयर लुक योर ब्रदर इज फाइटिंग हियर ही वाज वेरी नॉट पी हिज फैमिली वाज वेरी अनहैप्पी विद हिम एंड सो देयर वाज दिस काइंड ऑफ स्क्रैम्बल फॉर हिम टू फाइंड अ न्यू स्कूल एंड आई गॉट अ लिटिल बिट इन्वॉल्वड इन दैट हियरिंग अबाउट इट एंड बीइंग इन्वॉल्वड इन इट अ बिट इससे क्या होगा बार-बार हम बोलते थे वो सब तुम ही क्यों करता है इससे क्या होगा हम लोग गरीब का परिवार है पुलिस डर भी लगता था कि कहीं पैर हट टूट जाए एंड स्लोली आई गॉट इन लाइक आई started training and all first came to jungle crows young skinny little kid um always enthusiastic and yeah i've been associated with jungle crows till today so it's been a long year actually the rugby changed him totally it was in class 8 he got failed so he got admission in next school from there he was studying and from that time only he started playing rugby and uh, when he was going practice like uh, from whole family you should study you should study but he continued his rugby ye rugby khela ka sakti se yahan gaya ye hum bachcha mein nahi samajhte the ki mera bachcha itna aage jayega and that's how i finished my class 10 i was not really a good student and then i got the opportunity from jungle cruise uh, and the scholarship called nesha u grad for full one year undergraduate studies in america it was fully funded and it was a really i opening for me like how much education is important when i started playing rugby it was only about rugby but slowly it was more into education for then i realized jungle cruise itself helping so many kids for education so i think it's very important for me to get as a senior player as a uh, leader i have to get better education he was helping to set up a little rugby program within his college he had all these different international friends um and he really thrived in that it, with that opportunity and he took on a responsibility to um try and help other young people other children to sort of step up their commitment their level of responsibility jungle crow there have been lots of children who didn't saw school in the future or will not see from there paul and jungle crow took them and they made them what they would not they will not deserve so after coming back from america in 2015 i really wanted to head back again to study more in there but it was not possible as my scholarship was for only one year so that's how i found out this uh, masters program the i decided to uh, uh choose uh, paris is better i want to explore europe which i've never been to at the same time rugby is much bigger in france and that was the one of the most important reason which pushed me to go to france unko garv hota hai khushi aata hai isse bahut anand aaya thoda gaya to afsos hai dur gaya lekin ab khushi ab bahut acha lagta hai mera bachcha acha ho gaya jahan rehte hain usko liye zaroor yaad aata hai mummy bhagwan sabko aisa ladka de whenever we see that he is playing with uh, the air force team of england and whatever he is traveling to europe africa for training uh, for training young boys and young girls it's very proud moment for me and even for his club so when i when i landed in paris it was very different when no one speaks like very less people speaks english but 
I mean, it's it's fun. It's something to get into where you are, you need to manage. You need to uh, cross the barrier. You know, you need to go through it. <laughs> so I met a guy through Instagram called Marcus Rubin. Pritam contacted me last summer. He basically introduced himself. He explained what he was doing and um, uh, um, the charity he was connected with. And we had a good conversation back and forth. Judging by the reaction from uh, my clients, our clients, um, it's been super positive. It's been uh, fantastic. Everybody loves Pritam. Uh, I asked him like, if you can hire me for your work. And he asked me to come and meet and I met him and he, uh, he offered me a job for personal training. There's a particular type of client who likes to be worked hard, who appreciates Pritam. He really knows exactly how to push you to a certain point. The other thing with Pritam is that I know he's had a lot of challenges in his own life and he's overcome them. And so if you say, I can't do this, it's too hard, and he looks at you, you kind of feel a bit, a bit ashamed because he, you know that he's done way harder. I saw him on Instagram, I can't remember how, I was Googling best English speaking personal trainer in Paris as you do and he was the first, um, the first person that came up and so I contacted him through Instagram. It's a very intense session with Preet, you know. Preet is, while well, you're working out with him, you hate him and you call him a jerk, but uh, as soon as it's over you really respect him and tell him how much you appreciate what he's done for you. Um, Preet is always pushing you to do a few extra things um, and makes you do more than you can ever believe possible. Pritam's lifestyle in France, the way he's living in general, he's always working hard, waking up in the morning at 5 a.m., 5.30 he's working, training his clients. Soon as it's over, he runs to university, get back home, go to his rugby trainings, do his fitness training, and every day it's the same again and again. The good thing with him is never self-censure, so meaning it is open to talk about things. There's no barriers, which is important for me. There is no waste. He's, um, limiting his uh, openness to the world. He's trying to understand what's going on. I see in his eyes because I, my way of teaching is to give um, sort of um, ideas upfront, but also suggesting we can deeply go. And usually I see in his eyes he's asking for more. So it's much more easy and relaxed to teach when the students are showing in his face what's going on. It's something very important directly. And so his presence is totally different in a class in this way that is emotionally, intellectually, very in the class. He takes control of the sessions, he's in charge of the sessions, and the client never feels any doubt about that. You know, they know their position. I really enjoy it because it keeps me busy. It, may, it brings me to a lot more new people, new opportunities. The money I earn really helps me, and the scholarship, kind of food, and uh, other expenses like uh, travel expenses, and uh, was helped by Jungle Crows and the tuition fees, so that really helps me a lot. I, I reckon through using the medium of rugby, I understand that they um, help underprivileged children um, in, the, in Calcutta, in the city, uh, and outside the city as well, I, I, from what I've been told, um, and to help them, um, just to help them through life, just to help develop them, and to give them, um, um, to understand camaraderie, um, sportsmanship, and give them also the financial help to get an education. Et uh, cette saison, nous avons eu la chance de rencontrer Pritam, qui uh, nous a contacté via le site uh, internet du PUC pour voir s'il était possible de jouer cette saison uh, avec nous. Donc, uh, une fois qu'on l'a rencontré, uh, il, est, il a participé à plusieurs entraînements avant de, de prendre la décision uh, si oui ou non il pourrait uh, venir jouer avec nous parce que au départ c'était un peu compliqué uh, de par uh, sa situation et d'où il venait. 
Et euh, on ne savait pas très bien si euh, on pourrait lui faire une licence parce que, étant donné qu'il avait évolué euh, dans plusieurs championnats euh, en dehors de la France, c'était un peu compliqué pour faire la, la licence. Dès qu'on a pu la faire, on lui a tout de suite euh, signalé que c'était OK et, euh, et il a pu commencer à s'entraîner pour pouvoir jouer avec nous. Donc il faut dire une chose, c'est que le PUC est un club universitaire et qui a cette... Euh, cette euh, habitude à recevoir des joueurs qui viennent toujours un peu des, des quatre coins du monde. It's been really exciting, really good to see him step up and take on responsibility and do really good things and also to see hundreds of other children um, trying to follow him, using him as a role model. And I want to take it back, you know, I want to take it back to Calcutta and the Crows and motivate all the other guys and, and boys and girls. A lot of kids from Jungle Crows, they message me, they give me update. I the first time when I was playing winter camp here. So, they told us a lot of good things about what is the leadership, what is the team building, what is the rugby values. Those kids are messaging me, calling me, giving their updates about school is really something very different. I, I, I always heard like, Maya match, Maya training this, that, but now they understand that they have to study and that's where they, they can move forward and they can bring changes in their own family. Et uh, c'est pour ça que que Pritam s'est retrouvé dans cette ambiance-là. Alors aujourd'hui, Pritam, depuis le début de la saison, il est en train de, de s'intégrer progressivement dans notre groupe, parce que ça n'a pas été tout de suite facile, car il y a déjà il y a la barrière de la langue. Donc ça nous a, nous, obligés à faire beaucoup d'efforts en anglais déjà, donc à reparler anglais, c'est très bien. Et Pritam, on l'oblige à parler français avec nous pour pouvoir participer aux entraînements. Et ça avance, mais pas assez vite à notre, à notre goût. Alors Pritam est un joueur qui est, qui est explosif et ça c'est sa qualité première. Il est très très rapide, très solide dans le sens où il a un physique qui est, qui est vraiment très costaud. Donc il supporte énormément les impacts. In meanwhile, while I'm staying in Paris, I got a lot of other opportunities to involve in, to promote Jungle Crows and a place for, I went to Madagascar to play for the Royal Air Force, the Spitfire Sevens. Uh, there's a movie coming on up on Jungle Cross called Jungle Cry. Went for the promotion in the House of Lords. That was really a great achievement and experience to be in the Parliament of UK. I can never imagine being here ever. For the period of the vacances of Noël. Pritan nous a dit qu'il revenait en Inde pour, euh, pour voir les, la fondation et euh, pour animer des stages de rugby. Donc à cette occasion, on a, on a récupéré euh, tous les shorts et les chaussettes et des maillots que nous avions tous. On a fait euh, un sac et Pritan les a pris pour justement les, euh, les amener là-bas en Inde et, euh, et pouvoir les utiliser euh, lors des stages. Oh my long family, any kid, anyone, had never ever dreamed about studying abroad or doing MBA or going to Madagascar or playing rugby around the world and playing rugby in Paris for a club in a real way. So it's something which my parents even doesn't, still did ask me 100 questions. How, how is it possible? How do you manage this? How do you do that? 
it's very different it's unreal for me sometimes when i live it i would, i would like to thanks uh jungle cruise first of all i would like to thanks my family i'm so blessed that my parents understand the value of education and they brought me to calcutta from bihar thanks them and thanks to supporters like spitfires royal air force who supports us and atlas foundations and all and every single individuals who supports our jungle cruise foundation and khelo rugby back home it really makes a big difference